us, baby. They all try to break us, not knowing it's what makes us. It was 1990, and I remember it was Tai Chi, but more than that, it was Spanish, the duo, the Bandido song. That was one of the ones, you know, that I remember hearing that, and ever since, I was so obsessed. They all try to break us, not it's what makes us. Thank you very much, Vasil, for giving us some time for an interview here at Global Voices. And of course, the first question that comes to mind is, what does the Eurovision represent for you? Ooh, what a simple yet hard question. Exactly. <laughs> you know, one word, everything. It's one of those, I don't know if I would call it stamp of approval, but yes, this is the stamp of approval, the crowning mm -hmm. that you finally get this chance to represent to show yourself by representing your country from north macedonia Hello. so the responsibility of that is unbelievable this has been a childhood dream of mine the macedonian radio television mrt announced earlier today that faint pop and opera singer vasil garvanliev will represent the balkan nation north macedonia so the fact that it has come true and in a way this is my Third charm, lucky charm, you know, night 2019, I was backing vocal. Shine your light, go and break the rules. Vocal coach last year was chosen, but it was canceled due to COVID. I just want to dance with you. Tonight I want. And here I am this year, here I stand, pun intended. When I remember that. So it is the biggest honor one of those accomplishments that I hope is a life-altering event and a platform that will give me an even bigger voice and responsibility in the world of music through the arts. Trust your heart and just stay strong Cause baby, they all try to have the impression that your vision can play a role in promoting all kind of diversity, whether it's based on ethnicity, on gender, on language, on culture, on community. And can it achieve that both in the home country where the singer or the performer is, but also in a broader uh, sense? Totally. I, my answer to what I see Eurovision as, it's a tapestry of culture. And the beauty of it is that we really are all one family. The fans, the singers, the delegations that you get to to meet and be introduced to different styles of music, languages, and cultures. So yes, I think it's very important and important for us artists to, to speak up and share where we come from, what we stand for. So I think it is a beautiful way to introduce diversity through everything because, you know, bottom of it all, we are human beings with a beating heart. The rest is just colors. Last year, unfortunately, we missed your vision because of the pandemic. As we know, the world stopped and it was not, not an easy thing. It was a hard thing, especially for the arts. We took a really, really big hit, still are taking the big hit. And I admit last year when the contest was canceled, I was devastated. It was, you know, I've been working so hard. And for us, Macedonia, we have an internal selection. So I did not even know that I'm coming back this year. So I said, I've worked my butt off and it's canceled so it's like does my dream end does it continue so i was so glad this year when they asked me to go again and i think what we're doing this year is so beautiful that i feel like eurovision will be the global test everybody in the arts will watch this thing that is already happening and i believe very successfully that there's hope that we are taking a step for the new normal the first rehearsal i had in the arena i still feel the vibration of that emotion because it had been such a long time since I stepped on stage. So I said, I'm so glad. I already feel like a winner just by being able to be here and stand in the arena. So very, very glad and thankful for that. I have another question about uh, how people in North Macedonia relate to Eurovision. Since when uh, did the North Macedonia join Eurovision? Do people watch it? Is it a big thing? Macedonia National Television, yes, they broadcast it. It's since the 90s, I believe 96, 97, Vlado Yanovsky was the first to represent Macedonia, and then it has been going on since. The audience is half and half, depends. You know, people watch it, it depends on the year, so 
Yes, definitely the euphoria is there. And to those who don't know or don't follow Eurovision, it's kind of like sports. You know, when you have a big... Um, somebody had just mentioned or compared it to the Super Bowl, which is very interesting. So Eurovision is kind of the Super Bowl for us, or I always call it the Olympics of singing. So yes, there's a lot of support and people are very curious to see what happens, how you do, why you do. Last year, my song had a combination of an old Macedonian folk song with a modern English melody. This year we went, ended up going for an English song, but funny enough, even though it's an English song, I did my all to include as many Macedonians as I can. So when you watch the music video, all the orchestra that you see is prominent Macedonian musicians. In the gallery, you see this display of beautiful artwork by all Macedonian artists. So even though I'm singing in English, Macedonia is with me. <laughs> there are times when I remember back and all I do. Ooh.